Hey guys, are you wanting to turn on your PC without using the power button all the time? No worries, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to use wake on LAN and using a simple command on your Raspberry Pi that's online. It sends a magic packet to your PC to turn it on while it's shut down. And if you have an Android on top of that, you can also use SSH to run a wake on LAN command and your PC will wake up and get back online. Before we get started, let's make sure your PC supports wake on LAN because if it does, we need to make sure that it's enabled. And to do this, we need to get to your computer's BIOS or UEFI mode. For most modern PCs, the easiest approach to do this is to open the start menu. Search for advanced startup and click on change advanced startup options. Under advanced startup, let's click restart now. Once the PC restarts, you'll be prompted to choose an option. From here, you'll need to go to troubleshoot and click advanced options after that. If you see UEFI firmware settings, perfect. Click that and then click restart. And now the PC will restart and automatically go into your BIOS or UEFI mode. And if you're having some trouble getting the BIOS or UEFI, just take a look at this table I have and find your manufacturer. The key that you see for your manufacturer is what you're going to press immediately after restarting or at least right when you turn on your computer. So once you're in BIOS or UEFI mode, you'll need to make sure that your PC can be woken up using wake on LAN. And this might not be the same for every computer, but let's walk through a few examples. For an MSI PC, you'll first need to go to settings, then find advanced settings. And once you go into that, look for power management setup and then hit enter. And if you see EUP 2013, you do need to make sure that it's disabled. After that, go back and go into wake up event setup. You'll need to make sure you enable two different options here. Resume by PCIe device, as well as resume onboard Intel LAN. So for MSI users, you can now exit out of BIOS while making sure that you're saving changes before you reboot. And now let's go over another example with PCs that have ASRock motherboards. In this case, you most likely have a UEFI mode, which is a modern form of BIOS. You need to first go into advanced mode and then click on the advanced tab, which shows you more options by folder. And this one is more straightforward because we just need to go into ACPI configuration and make sure that PCIe devices power on is set to enabled. And then after that, don't forget to save changes before you exit out of UEFI. Last but not least, I'm not going to forget about those of you who have super older motherboards from Dell and HP. Thankfully, these older models have explicit settings for Wake on LAN. The key thing to remember here is to always start by looking in advanced. Look for toggles that have Wake on LAN or WOL. Okay, now comes the easy part for enabling Wake on LAN, which is basically telling Windows to allow this. From the start menu, look for device manager and once you have it open, we're going to expand network adapters. Look for your network adapter that supports wake on LAN. And most of the time, this will be your ethernet device. So right click and go into properties. And if you have a tab called power management, click on that and you'll need to check the option that says allow this device to wake the computer. Next, let's click the advanced tab. Start looking for properties that have wake on LAN. And if you happen to see a property called wake on LAN magic packet, you absolutely need to turn that on by making sure that it's enabled. Let's save our changes by clicking. Okay. Again, wake on LAN is used most of the time with ethernet adapters, 
but if you feel motivated, you can also try to see if your Wi-Fi device has the feature. Just go to properties from your Wi-Fi adapter and pretty much repeat the same steps in power management. And if there's an advanced tab, you might also see another wake on magic packet here. So let's turn that on and then click OK to save changes. All right, I promise we're almost done. Now let's open up the start menu again and then go into control panel. Click on hardware and sound and then step into change what the power buttons do. From here, most settings can't just be changed unless you click change settings that are currently unavailable. We need to make sure that the fast startup setting is unchecked because otherwise this setting can completely block that wake on land feature. Finally, click save changes and we now have wake on land fully enabled on our PC. Before we use another device to turn this PC on using wake on land, we need to figure out the MAC address of our PC's network adapter. You can do this using two different ways. Here's the quickest way to do this. From the start menu, open the command prompt and the command you'll be running is get MAC space slash V. And the physical address is the same thing as a MAC address. So find the one for your matching network adapter. And if you don't want to use command prompt, your other option is to open the start menu and then go into settings. Click on network and internet. And from there, we'll go into ethernet. If you go all the way down, you can find the MAC address. Now you can go ahead and shut down your computer. Here's one good sign that wake on LAN is turned on. Notice how even though the PC is shut off, the network light stays on while blinking. But if you don't see that happening, there's no need to worry. However, if you do, it means that your computer is actively listening for magic packets while it's shut off. Okay, let's use another device to wake up our computer using wake on LAN. So we'll go ahead and start an SSH connection or just open up a terminal on our Raspberry Pi. First, we'll run sudo apt-get update to make sure that our package repositories are up to date. Then we'll install the wake on LAN package by running sudo apt-get install wake on LAN. And this shouldn't take too long, but once it's installed, we'll now send a wake on LAN magic packet by running wake on LAN, followed by the MAC address of your network adapter that we captured earlier. But before you run this command, be sure to replace the dashes with colons, because otherwise wake on LAN is not going to register this as a valid MAC address. And as soon as you run the command, your PC is immediately going to turn on even if it's shut down. All right, here's another cool trick. So if you happen to have an Android phone and you followed my video on using SSH with Android, you can easily SSH into your Raspberry Pi and then run wake on LAN using your Android to wake up your PC by sending a magic packet. So hopefully this helped you learn how to wake up your PC using other devices on your network. And in the future, I'll be doing more videos on wake on LAN, including the ability to do this outside of your home network and from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching. And for more on wake on LAN or just computer tricks in general, please consider subscribing to this channel.